right, and welcome back. Woo! Woo! All right. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do it. What's up? I need to get a claim. Uh, heard that there was an accident. Uh, thanks. We're here to the... Uh... Ah, yes. My contacts there said you'd be stopping by. Here's our comment. Thanks. Let me read this back to you just to make sure everything's in order. Letting our customers leave with a smile is our greatest honor, so please pay us a visit on your next trip to Heimdall. Is that okay? Aha, uh -huh. wow, it sounds so embarrassing when you read it out loud like that. But even so, that's right. Great. Not for a picture, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, say cheese. Much appreciated. Oh, please, it was nothing. What do you even sell? Oh. A liquor! <laughs> What's up, Jog? Welcome, I'm Flint, and this is my drugstore. I've heard rumors that this place gets a lot of famous customers, but that's nowhere near the truth. How many times have I told you to get some real rest, Dad? Welcome, we have a wide assortment of luxury goods from name brands to fine selection of imports. By all means, take your time and indulge your interest. So you must sell, uh, okay. It's almost time for the summer festival. Mm. You've probably seen the high the in the HMP. You guys don't appreciate you'd find anywhere else, but with an even fancier name. Welcome, table for five. Uh, not right now. We're here for the Imperial Chronicle. All right. They told me to expect you. I've got our comment right here. Thanks. I'll read this out loud just to make sure it's correct. Let us provide you with a moment of luxury during your time in the capital. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Okay, we have to take a picture at the store. Say cheese. Thanks for your cooperation. Anytime. Thanks for doing all this. Oh, you guys from Thor's, aren't you? My parents work there. You guys know what? You guys know anyone from Class 7? I'm always hearing about them in their fancy red uniforms. Well, welcome to Heimdall. Glad to have you here. Hmm. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I wonder if they're like, but we're from Class 6. Shh, 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 don't, don't, don't tell them. But... No, 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 just, just let it be, just let it be. Hey, what's up, bro? Welcome, feel free to take a look around. We're actually here on behalf of the Imperial Chronicle. Oh, yeah, they told me you'd be stopping by. Here you go, then. Thank you very much. Can I take a look? Sure, mind reading it back to him, too? Let's see. We've gained our customers' trust with our long-standing tradition of expertise. How does that sound? Perfect! Okay, next we gotta take a picture of your store. Make sure I look cool in it now. Haha, <laughs> I'll try. Say cheese! Thank you very much. Yo, speaking of weapons... Did I scare you? Were you paying attention? If you want to do some shopping, there's no place better than Baker Street. It couldn't be easier. It's perfect. It's a good store. Alright, this place. Hey, yo, what's good? Hello, welcome to Lumiere Orville Factory. What can I do for you? We're actually here on behalf of the Imperial Chronicle. Oh, for the pamphlet. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, here you go. Okay, just a recap. Stop by Lumiere Orbital Factory for all your orbit-related needs. 
Does that sound right? You bet it does. All right, next, taking a picture of the store. Say cheese. Thank you very much. Not at all. I know. I... Hey there, welcome to the... Uh, um... Hmm. They're giving students some cool tech these days. Sweet. What a friendly guy. Alright, without me going back, can any one of you tell me what his name was? Because I was not paying attention. Hey, you're still in here. I'll be going on a date with my boyfriend on the first day of the summer festival, but now I'm worried I don't have anything to wear. I don't know anything about that, sweetie. <laughs> Welcome to the Sage. I can tell from your uniform that you're Thor students. That's right, how did you know? We made those uniforms in this very store. Really? Ah, the store does share its name with the boutique in Trista, now that I think about it. Hehe, <laughs> this is Lesage Main's branch. Back to business, have you come from in search of something specific, or are you here just to browse? Well, neither. I see, I was told to expect someone to swim by. Here is our comment, if you please. Thank you. Please allow me to read it back to you. If you want to stay on the cutting edge of fashion, you want to shop Lesage. Is this acceptable? It is indeed. I gave them the same voice. Oh, say cheese. Thank you very much. Not at all. Now let's go back to Norton. Yeah, you know, good old Norton, here's a who. Eh? Uh eh? -huh. Anybody? Funny joke? Eh? Uh -huh. Oh. Hey, yo, what's up? Good day, everyone. I assume you finished Norton's request. Ah, <laughs> here you go. Thank you very much. I'll go. So please make yourself comfortable on the sofa. Hey, oh, nice work out there. Just had the photos you took developed too, and and give them a nice once over. How were they? I was a little bit nervous knowing that a pro would be looking at them. <laughs> Let me tell you, there was no need for that. You took some nice shots. They're just right for this. That's a relief. Nice, good for you. Do all the comments seem to be in order? Yep, look good to me. Now all we gotta do is plan out the pamphlet's layout and we'll be done. That's wonderful. Running around Vancouver Street was worth it then. I'll say thanks guys, really appreciate it. You did great work. Oh, that's right, can't forget to hand you over. Here you go. Intimidation. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey, look at that, a big old palace. This is Dracos Plaza. The large building you can see in the distance is Valfame Planet Palace, home of the Imperial family and the government. I can see a statue of Emperor Dracos the Lionheart in the center of the plaza as well. Uh, this is the one place of the capital that never gets any less stunning, no matter how many times I see it. Yeah, that is a big palace. Well, we've come all this way here. Might as well take a closer look. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, let's play some ball. With a weather like this, we can kick it around for hours. I think we're better off playing cards instead. The Imperial Guardsmen will really scold us the ball goes near the palace, or at least I think so. Hey, this is our turf. You ain't gonna find any places bigger than this for kids to play around in. Here's the statue of Emperor Dracos. He strikes quite a stately pose. Weird to think he's the one who founded our academy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Anton? 
He really, he's been using his tragic love life as inspiration for everything he writes. Traveling only reminds him of his past rejections, which helps him write more. Wait, this guy! That's right! I remember you! This guy, this guy, Anton, he's a legend. Like, I will tell you that he actually shows up in other Trails games. Quite a lot, actually, surprisingly. This dude is the GOAT. I, I mean, he's not like my favorite character or anything, but the fact that he shows up again is impressive. There's always a parade. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. What's up? How dare they? How dare those Imperial Chronicles buffoons write something like this? Don't they realize that Princess Alphen is an Araponian idol? Don't they realize she has what she means to us? It's far too early for her to be married. She is 15 now, though. It wouldn't be completely bizarre for there to be someone she's fond of already. Hmm. My parents are both Imperial family fanatics. I can't believe they're surveying potential spots to watch the parade two days in advance. Worse shit, no matter where their obsession takes them, I was dragging me along. But do they ask what I want? No. Hey, what's up? Welcome, would you like some gelato? Excuse me, I'd like to... Oh, wow, there are a lot of you today. How many will we be having and what flavors? I'll take lemon. I'll play along with her. Unfortunately, we haven't come to purchase our... Your assertedly delicious gelato. <laughs> no worries. May I ask what you need help with? Of course. There was a customer who stopped by for some gelato the other day. He told me all about how his hat was a handmade gift he received from someone very special to him. Ironically, he dropped it by the stall, and there's been no sign of him ever since. That's not good. Especially if it was important to him. He was probably devastated after he realized he'd lost it, too. Which means he's a lot most likely frantically searching for it as we speak. The catch being that he's unaware of exactly where he dropped it. Hmm... Well, if you knew who he was, this wouldn't be a problem. How old do you think he was? I'd say he was in his 20s at least. He did mention that he was from the Oz district. That's all I know, though. Sorry. How many 20-something males are in Heimdall? More than would make this easy. <laughs> well, knowing he's from Oz district should make things easier. And I know a pup owner who may know something. Can we take the hat with us, Jasmine? Oh, of course, here you go. Thank you. The pub's called Gamgee's, and it's owned by a man named, well, Gamgee. This is Valfame Palace. This is where the Imperial government is headquartered too, right? Yeah. It's a pretty imposing building, though. Looking at it, one can really appreciate the grand scale of this nation. <laughs> True. Oh, you're all here too. Subgroup B? Hey, what are you guys doing here? Totally coincidence. It's not like we were planning to run into you here. Is not group supposed to be focused on the western half of the city? Hmm. <laughs> I seem to recall your group being assigned to the east side, and yet here you are. Ah, this must be where our areas overlap. Have you been going around exploring all the places on your list, too? Yes, we only arrived by tram a little while ago. Hey, how's everything coming along, Fee? Not bad. Still, in this city, in a city this big, it's quite a coincidence to just run into each other like this. True, perhaps fate keeps trying to bring us together. Mmm... I take it you're all put up in a guild house too? Yeah, I have to say I didn't see that coming. Your dad seems like he's the meddling type, Machias. I wish I could disagree. I'm sure he has his reasons. We've explored about half of our assigned area so far, how about you? I'd say we're about half of ours too. That is not true. I see, it seems we all have some more legwork ahead of us. Now let's give it our best out there. Oh, hey, why don't we all get lunch together later? 
Hey, that sounds wonderful. There's no guarantee we'll be able to get together again during a visit, after all. True, it's a perfect opportunity to exchange information at blah 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 blah. <laughs> Back to our exploring, then. Alright, let's get back to exploring then. Hey, hey, did you hear? Sounds like Oz gonna have gonna be the last place to get decorated for the summer festival. But Uncle Carl's the governor. Why are we last? Because he doesn't give anyone special treatment. It's kind of annoying that the other areas get to go first, though. Ah, oh, Marcus, good day. Long time no see, Gamgee. Marcus, didn't expect to see you again so soon. I was literally just in here earlier. Did Carl call you back? To help with the surprise? It might have been his plan all along. I guess you haven't outgrown your habit of overthinking things. Either way, you're glad to see you're doing well. Make yourself an old. Let me kick stick with him too. He's stubborn as a mule, but a good gad heart. <laughs> Will do. We're well aware. Th thanks. But to the matter at hand, there's something I'd like to ask you, Gamgee. Hmm? Could you take a look at this hat for us? We're searching for its owner. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. I figured... Hmm. Oh, I remember now. Jim's wife made this for him after they got married. The guy was crazy about it and wouldn't stop showing it off, so I tried my best to erase the dang thing from my mind. So it's Jim's, is it? I'm surprised he dropped something that important to him, though. Well, hurry up and get back to him. He'll probably cry tears of joy. Last I heard, he's off work today, so you should find him at his house. Just try to keep it a secret from his wife if you can. Things were gonna get awkward if she heard he had dropped it, I guess. Discretion might be a good idea. Do you know where he lives? Yeah, step outside and take a slight right and head down the steps. It's directly ahead. Thanks for the information, Gamgee. Heh, <laughs> don't sweat it. Heh, <laughs> you and I sound the same, Machius. Heh. <laughs> so to the right. Down the steps. Oh. Oh. I'm smart. <laughs> oh, hello there, Machius. Doesn't seem like Jim's home. Yeah, let's ask you. You wouldn't happen to know where Jim is, would you? You just missed him, actually. He wandered out a short while ago without so much as a word. He's been acting a bit odd for the past few days, too. You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? Uh, no, of course not. Right. What did you need him for, anyways? Oh, Gamgee Gamgee wanted me to pass a message along t on to him, that's all. No, well, that's the kind of thing you'd want to do face to face. You shouldn't have gone too far. Thank you for letting us know. Sorry for intruding. I'll handle it. My turn! Leave it to me! Here we go! Mm -hmm. Hey, Suffle. Come on, Tram, hurry up. I really wish I could remember where I dropped it. Jim, there you are. Found him just in time. Yeah, it wouldn't have been easy to find him if he'd gotten on the tram. Did you say find him? Were you looking for me for some reason? That we were. This wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? My hat! I can't believe it. This is it. The hat that Grace made for me. Oh, thank Adios. I've been looking all over for this the past few days. Where in the world did you find it? We didn't find it at all. The lady at the gelato stand by the plaza picked it up after you dropped it. Oh! Now that I think about it, I do remember taking it off there since my head was getting itchy. And then you accidentally dropped it? Is that... I had no idea you were here, Grace. Sorry, Machius, I decided to follow you after I realized what happened. I can't believe you, Jim. Not only did you drop the hat, you didn't even tell me the truth about it. I just didn't want to upset you. I understand how you felt, but you should have just told me. 
Don't you swear never to keep anything from me when we got married? I'm more upset at the fact that you broke that oath than anything else. You're right. I'm so, so sorry. I should have told you right away. I'll forgive you this time. Thanks so much for returning it to him. Are you sure we can have these? Oh, by all means. Well then, let's go home, darling. We won't know what to waste your day off now, would we? <laughs> no, we would not. So we managed to find them then. Thank goodness. How can I ever repay you? I think you're overestimating what we actually did. Don't worry about it. That's not true at all. Speaking of which, you all saw be exhausted after running around. Here's some gelato to refresh yourselves. Do you mean it? Well, thank you. Because <laughs> Fee wanted lemon. After visiting the assigned areas and completing their mandatory task, Green and, Green and Group A contacted B. Noon had long since passed, so both groups gathered together in Vancouver Street's department store for a late lunch. <laughs> Ooh, I just want you all to know I don't normally eat this much Considering the size of the capital I'm not surprised we worked up such an appetite running around <laughs> Well, I guess we now Ought to have plenty of energy To make some good progress this afternoon <laughs> Indeed, although Really, nothing we can do about these two? This is getting ridiculous. They seemed uncomfortable during the entire meal, too. The only hope we'll be able to find some way to reconcile their differences soon. I know, I know, but nothing ever good ever comes from rushing these things. I've got a feeling they're going to get over it on their own soon. I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. Alright, we should get back to work. It shouldn't take us long to finish things up. Yeah, I think we've maybe got one mandatory task left. Yeah, and that's the one we could, just couldn't do because the client was out at the time. Hopefully he's back now. We'll go check when we have a chance. We'll see you at some point. I hope your field study proves fruitful for us. Agreed. Good luck, everyone. Catch you later. Alright, let's head back to the hotel in the Garnier District. And thus, the group's finish their things this is loud all right to the Orgardia district Hooray! to the hotel ah! welcome to Durham might you be searching for a room Oh, good. Seems like the owner's back. Actually, we're here about a monster extermination request you placed. Oh, you came to take care of that for us, did you? You all seem rather young. Are you sure you'll be able to handle it? We have a significant experience in monster extermination. I don't foresee any problems. Can you explain exactly what you'd like us to do? Hmm. Well, if you insist. The request involves the eradication of a monster currently living underneath this hotel. Underneath? You see, beneath the city lies a, a network of underground passages built during the Middle Ages. One of these passages happened to lead directly into this hotel's basement. So it was originally constructed during the so-called Dark Ages? I seem to remember reading something like that in a book a while back. Yeah, those tunnels have apparently been unattended for a long time now. Correct. However, lately there seems to be a concerning increase in the number of monsters inhabiting the passage. An employee went to investigate and brought back reports of a particularly large creature in there as well. Before, we'd occasionally put in a request to the guild to clear, to clear out the monsters underground, but that isn't an option this time, as the guild branch is in the city clothed. 
Our customer certainly won't be able to rest easy with dangerous creatures prowling around beneath the hotel. Do you think you can take care of this matter for us? Certainly, just leave everything to us. Can you explain how we're to enter the underground pass? First, we'll need this key. He's to unlock the door on the opposite side of this entrance hall. That will lead you down to the underground passage. However, I'm afraid I know nothing of the passage's layout, including how fast the network of tunnels is. Please, do be careful down there. We will. Alright, as soon as we're prepared, let's head to the underground passage. I need to make sure we got all our equipment oh prepped my. and ready. Mm. Lady Clotilde, is it time for you to depart? Yes, I'll be stepping out for a while. But more importantly, who do we have here? Is that... V v v Vita Clotilde? Whoa! I can't believe it! It's really her! His voice squeaked, I yeah. I thought I'd actually get the chance to meet her. Wait, who is this now? You three! Don't just stand there staring! You're in the presence of the legendary opera singer Vita Clotilde! The Azure Diva herself! The Azure Diva, huh? I do recall hearing that name at some point. Wait, you know who she is? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Opera is a world unto itself. I mean, yeah. I expect there are multitudes who have never heard of me before. She's I very pretty. I'm Clotilde, an opera singer. I'd be delighted if you would come and hear me sing sometime. It's a pleasure to meet you. She's really pretty. By the way, I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. You were all students then. Did you come here in the hopes of getting my autograph by any chance? Uh, of course we did! What other reason could we have possibly be here? Okay, cool your jets, you two. <clears throat> we're all students from Thor's Military Academy in Trista. We came to the capital on a field study, started making our rounds, and ended up here. Aww. What a way to what a way to take the wind out of my sails. What a military academy, you say? Just a sec. Uh, okay. Could that mean you come to take care of the beasts in the underground passage? Yep, just about to get started. J just leave that monster to us. We'll have it down before, down for the count before you know it. I'm relieved to hear that. I've been quite worried since I first heard about it. Still, you said you're here on a field study. The high schools these days certainly put their students through some challenging work. <laughs> I doubt there are any other academies in the country with a curriculum quite like ours. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need to be on my way or I'll be late for my rehearsal. So if you'll excuse me, uh, our apologies for delaying you. Not at all. It made for quite a pleasant diversion. I wish you all the best with your field study. I'm sure it won't be easy. Wow, she's even prettier person than she is in photographs. Yeah, nothing compares to the real thing. Oh no, we forgot to get her autograph! Aw, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Not only beautiful, but considerate and impatient as well. Yeah, I got that impression too. So she's a famous opera singer, huh? I feel like it wouldn't take too much. It wouldn't take too much coaxing of, to be co coaxing to become a fan of hers. What's wrong, Fee? It's probably nothing. The door to the goes to the right hand side. We need to go. So over here. Well, the door's unlocked now. It seems like it's quite a maze. After exploring the air crash and the field they study away. It would like to be possible to think of this and left unfinished. It's fine. So this is what the underground passage looks like. Wow, it seems crazy that they built something like this in the Middle Ages. 
Seems like the monster we're after must be pretty deep inside, too. Laura, Fee, just to be sure, you're both ready to begin exploring? Of course. If I couldn't be of service in situations like these, it'd be pointless for me to be here at all. Same here, I've got your back. I think it's about time we finally formed a successful combat link, Fee. We may have different approaches to combat, but we both show our true worth on the battlefield. I doubt you wish to bring any further shame upon yourself, and I feel the same. True. I'll try to, to match the rhythm of your breathing. Mm -hmm. Alright. Is that a treasure chest? Ah! Ah! Beginning combat. Oh Jesus. Wow, it's been it's been so long since I've seen active combat. Sorry. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to this. Because like analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. Okay. Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here. Go. Ah, I keep pressing triangle. Oh yeah, El Elliot's like great, great for healing. Done, but we can't relax yet. Ah! Oh. And uh. my turn. You can be paralyzed, but the paralyzed, baby. That's <laughs> by treasure. <laughs> ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, dude, it has been so long since I've played this game. Like, I'm so used to Trails into Reverie, which is essentially the same as uh, Trails to Cold Steel 3 and 4. But, like, my goodness. My turn. So you'll you'll see me mistake. That's oh, fine. Here we go. Let's get him, Elliot! It's my turn. Go. Hit him with the gun! Oh. How do you miss? Nice. I did it! I did it! Oh yeah! I'm the man! Wiggy wiggy whoop whoop! Oh. Beginning. Heck, come on. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. How about you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. That's the power of the eight leaves. Dude, speaking of eight leaves, like when you realize that there are like Is that a seven or eight different people who practice the eight leaves one blade school.
It's so good. show you the power of them. Okay. I was I was it was about to be stupid. It's my turn. My turn. I'll handle it. Go! Elliot, get him! Making my way here. I got my sword, sword, this sword. A great training area. I envy the people who live around here. Only you would see an underground passage and think about training. No, no, no. She, she's got a point. It very well could be. Everybody. Get hyped. Leave it to me. He's My turn. Take this. Okay. Ooh, nice. Sure. Well, I. Hey, nice. Take it, take it, take I need to like obviously I don't need a grind but I'm gonna have to be stronger for a fight later in the game yeah. But yeah I don't need to grind anytime soon so my fool we going on the way I wonder if there's a city, like, in real life, that has underground passages like this. Like, just beneath the entire city. You know, I'm sure that... I'm sure there are, there have to be. Ooh. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Leave it to me. My turn. Go. Okay. Go. Go. I'll pick you up. It's my team that. Critical. Good. Good. Let's do it. Go! Oh. 
Get boo! Actually, real quick, let me check something. That it makes any more likely to run from you. I like little fish than enemies. That's a Machius. I don't really have a have a lot of things. So that's fine. I mean I have had to ground a fair amount in this game, but I don't think necessarily that much. Not like freaking if I was playing on nightmare mode. Which, you know, if I make it through this one, which I fully intend to. Maybe I'll play Cold Steel 2 uh, on that game. Right, let's get him, Elliot! Yeah. My turn. Elliot! Hit him with a ball! Oh. 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 You're dead. Oh. 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 Uh -huh. Huh. Okay, we did it. I I won. Uh. Alright, here, right, here we go. Man, it's so annoying. I can't get all five. My turn. Gale is actually, I think, my favorite move that Ring can do. It is so good. Nice job, Reem. Got the double tap. I like, in case anyone doesn't know, I like to buff Reem. Like, I like to make him the strongest. Because in my head canon, he is. Like, at least in his class, I'd say he is probably the strongest. With his uniqueness, protagonist, main protagonist energy. Nice! I'll you up. I'll handle it. Here. My turn. It's my turn. How about this? Oh. Here we go. There. Go. I'll get you up. Oh. My turn. You're dead. My turn. Hey! My turn. Ah! Let's keep moving. I'll kill you. Super ah! Right. It's my turn. Okay. Hostiles neutralized. Literally scared me. I I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Oh. Oh oh oh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Get him, Reed. Right. I'll handle it. My turn. 
I'll pick you up. Okay, nice that was work, tough. Though. Yeah, nice work though. <laughs> And I'm on my way, on my way, oh, on my way, on my way to the place where I can't escape. Master will say, yeah. Hit you with a bomb. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna hit you with a bomb. Da -da 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 -da. You paralyzed now. Da -da 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 -da. Everybody gotta go. Ah, my ears. All right, I should have enough though. My turn. That's a chance. I'll pick you up. Okay. My turn. But we can't relax yet. I should have saved the game because if I had told it now I lose, I will be very annoyed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. That must be it. Yeah, it looks like the monster the hotel owner asked us to deal with. Laura Fee, you two ready? Of course. I'd like to ask that you put P and myself in the map as well. Can I have another go to combat link? Well, this is as good a chance as any. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Bad. 
It's fine. Oh. I think, uh, I think Elliot's gonna be like our, uh... That defense. My turn. Here we go. That's a chance. I'll pick you up. Okay. Oh, God. Won't <laughs> give up. Um, you have my thing. My turn. Focus activate. Ha! Who is it? Turn. Here we go. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Jesus. Delicious. Here we go. You have my face. Right. All right. Listen to my song. You have my face. Okay. I think we're slowly, slowly starting to get there. Oh. 
Oh god! Oh! 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 You gotta be almost dead! Just die! I'll you up. My turn. Just My turn. Just die already! My turn. My turn. Oh my gosh! Is everybody okay? Jeez! Uh. Uh. Right. Dying. <laughs> I've only just begun. <laughs> Dot 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 indeed. Well, that was... You know, maybe you should just stop worrying about trying to form a combat link with each other. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can see why you'd really want to. No. I don't want to hold our group back more than I already have. I'd like to withdraw from active combat and take a more supporting role for the duration of this field study. Laura, it doesn't make any sense for you not to be in the thick of the fight. Ooh. Don't be ridiculous. If anyone should be benched, it's me. It makes sense when you consider what each of us brings to a fight. No. My own immaturity is the cause of this. There's still a part of me that refuses to accept you, and this is the result. Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't think I was this narrow-minded. And I apologize for the distress my prejudice has no doubt been causing me. I came to realize during my club activities that I still have a lot of maturing left to do. Mm. Laura. As such, Reen, I wish to withdraw. Denied. Ah. Uh. Actually, I'll be the one withdrawing from frontline combat. Ooh. What? Huh? Reen? This seems awfully sudden. What's your line of thinking? During all the battles we fought, one thing stood out to me. I couldn't help but notice that under ordinary circumstances, Laura and Fee's fighting styles complement each other perfectly. I... well... You think so? Interesting. What do you mean? Laura's the ideal knight, standing yep. strong in the thick of the fight, dominating enemies with her blade. And there's Fee, the ideal vanguard, overwhelming the opposition with their speed and creating openings for Laura. During the practical exam, none of us should have stood a chance against the two of you. Hmm. When you put it that way, it does make sense. If they could form a combat link, they'd be virtually unstoppable. Yeah. I don't think that's escaped you two either. Mm. That's why you keep trying to form a combat link, but there's something stopping you from connecting with each other. Whatever yeah. it is. It's been frustrating both of you this whole time, right? Mm-hmm. It's exactly as you say. Yeah. Okay. So, since that's how things stand, it makes no sense for you two to just give up and withdraw from combat. In fact, considering everyone's relative strengths and weaknesses, it makes the most sense for me to fall back. Yep. This way, you'll have more chances to work out whatever it is that's standing in the way of you forming a link. And they both agree. You have my thanks. We'll take you up on your offer then. That's what I like to. <sighs> you really can be audacious sometimes, you know. Just like you were with me and Eusis. You think? I don't really think I did anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> so you really did not think anything of it. Still, thanks to you, there might be hope for these two after all. Yeah, yeah. We'll do what we can. But first, all right. we need to get. Yep. All right. And that's going to be all for this episode. That's what I'll be on with this episode. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode of Trails to the Cold Steel. Peace.